All right, we are back in Blender. Today's tutorial is going to be a material tutorial for dancing diamonds uh, or glitter. I'm going to show you how I got my diamonds to sparkle in the Cuban chain tutorial. So let's get into it. Uh, if you don't want to follow this tutorial and you just want the material, it is available for free on my Gumroad called Glitter. Uh, you just need to change the alpha channel like unplug it and you'll have the exact same setup essentially as what we're going to make here. Anyways, let's get into it. This is a new session. I'm going to delete everything. I'm going to bring in a diamond. I'm going to bring up a new window here, set it to shader editor. And we'll just use the default material, rename it to diamond. All right. So First things first, we need to go into the compositor, hit use nodes, and bring in a glare node. You can leave it just as is, set the threshold to something like 35, and the fade all the way down. Perfect. All right, if we go back in here, and we hit rendered view, we can hit always on the compositor, and that will cause things happening in the compositor to always be previewed. All right, let's get into it. The first thing we're going to need here is to delete the principal BSDF and add in a Voronoi texture. With Node Wrangler enabled, I'm going to hit Control T on it, and that'll bring up our texture coordinate and mapping node. Switch it over to Object, and let's hit Shift Control Click it to preview it. Click it one more time so that we're previewing the color socket. All right, let's adjust this a little bit. Bring these up and bring this to something like. Four, maybe bring this down. What we're looking for is to have flakes kind of randomly spread across the surface of this object. So how we're going to do that is bring in a color ramp and bring the white handle down till we have just some flakes visible of different values. Perfect. All right, the next thing we're going to need is a layer weight node. You're going to want to switch this over to blend and let's preview facing. And so as you see, as you move around, ones that aren't facing the camera directly kind of fade out of view. And the ones that are facing the camera are brightest. All right. Next thing is going to be another color ramp. This one we're going to set from RGB to HSV and from near to far. What I do is I'll grab the black handle and change it to pink and grab the white handle and change it to oops, essentially the same pink. And so now we have this kind of holographic uh, <laughs> 80s looking sparkle over it. And then this is the most important part. Maybe we bring this up a little bit. These are pretty big flakes. Okay, and then this is the most important part, is you need to bring in a mix color. You're going to want to set it to B there, and set the factor to 1, and then instead of mix, you want to use divide. And there you go. You have dancing diamonds. Now obviously this isn't super realistic to how it actually is, um, but when you use it on things like diamond chains and stuff like that, it is very convincing. Uh, and then you can do a few other changes. Maybe you want to add in like a mix or add in a emission maybe to have it go through and add in a mix shader. And then you could just, you know, use some sort of diamond. Maybe I have a diamond material. I don't. You could just use a glass shader, I suppose. Like that. Uh, and then... Maybe pull out another color ramp. And use that as the factor. Yeah, there you go. So now you have this kind of... I don't know. Anyways, there's a lot you can do with it. The point is to show you how to get it to sparkle, and the way you get it to sparkle is with these 
three nodes specifically. Now you need the obviously the mask here. This is to you know define how much of the mask is going over the surface of the uh, object. But the three important nodes to make it sparkle are right here: your layer weight, your color ramp to choose the so it sparkles in different colors as you move around, and then the divide from white. And that is how I do it. And then obviously you need to make sure that the compositor has your glare node in there. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments or message me on X. And like I said, this will be free on my Gumroad. Uh, I'll put the link in the description. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one.